Tinia cruris or zoc each. More commonly occurring men than women, tinia cruris, may be exacerbated by sweet and the tight clothing, hence the term. The feet are also involved. The theory is that the feet get infected first from the contact with the ground. The fungus spores are carried to the groin from scratching, from putting on under clothing or pants. The infection frequently extends from the groin to the perineal skin and gluteal cleft. The rashes appear red, scaly, and pustular, and is often accompanied by each. Predisposing factor for tinea uris include Closed clothing, your face sticks to the sweeping, hyperhidrosis, the feet is latest, topical steroid use, what's called tinea curis, trachophyton rubrum, and epidermophyton glucosum. Tinea curis usually begin in the inguinal region, uh, growing skin form on one side, which can evolve to become a bilateral but characteristically asymmetric rash. The rash can extend down the inner aspect of the thigh and to the lower abdomen and the pubic area. Involvement of the buttock and premium may be seen, but there is a typical sparing of the penis through the bulb. Tinea curis is usually itchy. How is tinea curis diagnosed in the clinical features of an asymmetric scaly rash in the groin and confirmed on the skin scraping? Topical antifungal medications such as imidazole, terpenafine, oral antifungal medications for extensive or recurrent infection, particularly in immunosuppressed patients, grisolfine, terpenafine, etraconazole.